In this video, I'm going to do a four-year review of my cattle panel build. If you're new to this channel, my name's Lee. This channel is all about DIY for gardening and small homesteads and saving money. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. When I built this greenhouse four years ago, my biggest concern was wind. I live right next to an open field and we get some serious winds that come howling across it. So in order to prevent the greenhouse from blowing away, I put six pieces of two foot rebar through the treated two by six side base pieces. And thus far, it's worked. Greenhouse base hasn't moved, no uplift, no lateral movement, nothing. It stayed put, so success. The second thing I was concerned about was the structural integrity. So what if it didn't blow away, would it collapse? Not only was I looking at wind load, but snow load too. Again, we get serious wind, storms, microbursts, torrential rains, and snow. In order to keep the greenhouse from collapsing, I did multiple things. I connected the end wall framing of the door and windows with the lower shelf framing. In addition, I added a ridge that helped support the cattle panels and was also connected to the end framing. Then I added grid wall connectors between the cattle panels in an attempt to create a structural connection between the cattle panels. And the result has been no collapse of the structure, no bending, no leaning, nothing. Again, success. Another concern related to the structure was rot. In order to prevent the decay of the base and end wall structure, I used treated material for all wood that came into contact with the ground. I've looked at it closely and it's holding up. There are no major issues that I can see. So this is a secondary success check mark for the structure. My third concern was the greenhouse plastic. In order to save money, I was gonna use six mil clear plastic that I could get from my local big box store. Instead, I opted for some legit six mil four year greenhouse plastic. And I'm glad that I did. I'm quite impressed with how it's held up. No tears, no cracks. It's not brittle or friable. However, it is four years old, so I'm probably pushing my luck and should replace it soon. Likely as not, it may not let as much sunlight through as it once did, but I think it's good enough for another season. In my books, this is another big success. The fourth concern I had was making sure I bought the right automatic vent opener. The one I chose was a little more expensive than I was comfortable spending at the time, but it's definitely been worth it. It's worked great with no problems and continues to operate flawlessly. If I ever need to replace it, I would buy the same model. So, yes, this is another success check mark. Some other minor items of concern I had was how would the untreated structure hold up inside of the sometimes wet and humid environment? Well, other than discoloration and some minor checking, it seems fine. However, if and when I build another one, I would probably paint all the 2x4s with a white latex outdoor paint. What about the hardware? All the door and window hardware is original and working fine. Nothing's been replaced over the past four years. When I chose the hardware, I really didn't think there'd be problems, but I just wanted to add them to the overall review. Something that I was very pleased with was the shelving. I probably could have saved some money here and used some kind of wire for the lower shelves, but I'm glad I went with the cedar. I like the way it looks and it's held up great. I really like the upper shelves also. Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing with the shelves. So what are some things that I would change? I wouldn't put mulch on the floor again. It takes away from the head height and mice like to burrow in it. I'd probably put pavers down instead. They're fairly cheap and might help to hold a little solar gain in the shoulder seasons and reduce heating costs. Also, I'd make the weed fabric extend beyond the base by two feet all around the perimeter. Originally, I tucked it under the edges and weeds have a tendency to want to grow inside the greenhouse right along the inside edge. Extending the weed fabric would eliminate a minor maintenance issue. So was it worth it? Absolutely. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. It was economical to build and has easily withstood the test of time. I love going out there in the spring when the greenhouse is full of plants and warm. It's really very therapeutic. I highly recommend that you build one for yourselves. I'll leave a link in the description for where you can get the plans. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.